Hey, what's going on YouTube? What is going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? Hopefully you're doing all right, okay? We're gonna be checking out a song here, once again, from the band Cream. Got a few reactions here, so if you're new, man, feel free. Check those out, look them up. This one, though, is gonna be Sunshine of Your Love, and wow, what an album cover, man. This is, uh, I don't know if this is the original cover to this, but that is some awesome colors, man. It really pops out at you. Love, love it. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this one, Sunshine of Your Love. Let's hit that play button and get it rolling. I'll soon be with you, my love Give you my dull surprise Reminds me of Indigo and Davido. The light I don't know. shining through on you. Yes, I'm with you, my love. Ooh. It's the morning, and just we two. I'll stay with you, darling. Now I'll stay with you till my seas are dried up. Oh wow, man, Ooh. we got sauce on this thing. <laughs> shoot yeah that that's a little that's a little bit of a drive right there man that was nice that was that was a beefy man i like that track that's really solid i know you guys said cream was together for a short while but man did they put together something 
really incredible as a, I guess a super group here. That's that track right there. That hits, man. That hits. All right, guys, just some uh, really good information here, man. This is uh was released in 1967. They classify the genres psychedelic rock, hard rock, blues rock, and I think that pretty much nails it, man. That nails it. Uh, pretty much for me. So it says, uh, you know, Sunshine of Your Love is a 1967 song by the British rock band Cream with elements of hard rock and psychedelia. It is one of Cream's best known songs and most popular songs. Now, they got this in development from uh, attending a Jimi Hendrix concert. Okay, that's where they drew inspiration after witnessing this concert man it just charged their creative juices and they said, man, we got to go home and play right now, dude. Let's do this right now so it says that the guitarist eric clapton and lyricist pete brown later contributed uh to the song and drummer ginger baker plays a distinctive tom tom drum rhythm uh it says right here that eric clapton elaborated uh that hendrix played this gig that was blinding i don't think jack bruce had really taken him in before and when he did see it that night after the gig he went home and came up with the riff it was strictly a dedication to jimmy and then we wrote a song on top of it. That, oh, wow, beautiful, man. That's uh, giving Jimmy his roses right there, really, in song form, man. That is so amazing. You go on down here, where I think this kind of helped how they came up with the drum line, is where all their songs that Cream played were prepared, this one song, they never found a pocket. They were never comfortable. I said, you know, have you ever seen an American Western uh, film, the Indian beat, where the downbeat is the beat? And when he, Ginger, started playing it that way, all of the other parts came together and right away they were elated, man. They found the sound they were looking for in this song. And it says that this was really kind of like um, an early, I'll find it, but it was kind of an early sound that helped build other bands uh, to find a, a certain groove, right? This kind of developed that blues rock characteristic that was happening, I guess, uh, in the UK. It says, Sunshine of Your Love, Cream's best-known song, is a culmination of the British adaptions of blues into rock and also the direct per, uh, precursor of Led Zeppelin and heavy metal, where this type of blues-based motivic riff and harmonic motions, like ACG or EGA, as in Whole Lot of Love, serve as the basis for a seemingly endless number of songs. Dude, wow, what a stamp, man. If you guys... I mean, if Cream was just around for a bit, didn't they leave a dang impression into the, uh, you know, rock uh, genre? I mean, they kind of left their imprint for other people to be able to base a foundation on and build up their own musical sounds. That's pretty freaking crazy. And yeah, so Cream, I mean, it's saying recorded from 1966 to 1968 uh, is what I'm seeing here, so... Well, all right, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed rocking with me here today, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please don't forget, like, subscribe. Check out the description down below for other ways you could help the channel grow. With that being said, I'm gone. I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Peace.